Hey everyone! So today we're going to be doing a Louis Vuitton unboxing from sunny Dubai. So if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Donna. And if you're already a subscriber, then firstly a big thank you and welcome back. And I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. So let's start this Louis Vuitton unboxing. Now this is the like gift card that you get. I've just opened it up so you can see what's inside that. Let's take the rest of the ribbon off and drum roll please, let's open up the box. So inside, I'm about to unbox one of the latest from Louis Vuitton, the Speedy Bandolier 25. So this is the Louis Vuitton Pillow Speedy Bandolier 25. And Louis Vuitton says it brings a cool new attitude to one of their most iconic designs. It's made from a padded recycled nylon in a shimmery silver. The bag is embroidered with monogram motifs and trimmed with mini monogram canvas. The top handles and strapped are padded for a cozy and pillowy effect. So I'm just going to shoot this bag for you all from every angle so you can get a really good look at it. I'm obviously shooting this in the direct sunlight at the moment. And I'll leave you with a small music montage and I'll have all of the information about this bag pop up on the screen. I thought I'd just do a quick size comparison. This is my Nice Mini, which I really love. But as you can see, the Speedy 25 size is a little bit bigger. Um, here it is now with my Mono Gramouflage Speedy 35 size. So it's the 35 versus the 25 size Speedy. And I've also popped on the round coin purse from my multi pochette accessoire. I think that looks kind of cute with this bag as well. However, you can see that there's silver hardware on the Speedy 25 and it's gold hardware, but I do not mind mixing my gold and silver anymore. And yeah, I still think it looks cute. I love how the little monogram matches on the handles. And if you um, want to put your AirPods, as which this is how I use it, um, you'll never lose them. And then obviously on the other side, you've got the bigger monogram LV, but I still think it looks super cute. So this is one of the ways that I would style and I have been wearing this bag. So here is just a close up for you to get a good look. You could also maybe wear this on the front of the bag as I've done here as well, not just on the side. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this way I've done it. And again, I just wanted to show some size comparisons between the Speedy 35 and the Speedy 25. My monogramouflage, I've worn that Speedy for years, still wear it, love it. And again, this is just how it looks with all the handles on the Speedy. And yeah, I just find this to be a really useful and practical bag in the weirdest of ways. Um, I didn't have anything like this in my collection personally, so that's why I jumped at the chance to grab one of these. And um, yeah, so far it's just been so comfortable to wear. Um, now I've matched it up here with my clouds 
So this blue ombre monogram clouds squared box pouch bag charm and belt charm I got a little while ago. I love how it kind of looks. It's like fluffy clouds, fluffy speedy. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's cute. It's one of Virgil Abloh's designs. So I really love this clouds collaboration and was lucky to get a few pieces. And it's all silver hardware, which means I think it looks super cute. Again, I can fit my iPods in this pouch and then some. This carries quite a lot of things in this little clouds pouch. If you want to see what I can fit inside it, I do have a YouTube video showing the unboxing. I'll link in the description below so check it out but you'd be surprised what these can fit in them and yeah I sort of love this vibe and I've been styling and wearing it like this as well which I think is super cute <laughs> Next up, I've been rocking it a lot this way. Now, this is my latest from the Louis Vuitton Christmas Animation 2022. Again, it's mixing gold with the silver, which I don't mind. Um, this is Vivian, and she's in Paris, <laughs> and she's living her best life. Um, of course, this is the key pouch. And I do also fit my AirPods as well as my earpods. Now, if you want to look at my latest unboxing, it's of this and what fits inside and how I actually style this. So I'll leave that in the link in the description as well for you to view. And the other SLG that I've been loving styling this bag with is my Nego at Virgil Abloh collab. It is my little duck coin card holder. Now this one has black hardware as you can see and I think that still looks quite cool mixed in with the silver. If you want to see the unboxing of this particular SLG um, that says LV made, I can leave that also in the description below. So yeah, I feel like this Speedy 25 is quite a versatile little bag in that I can mix and match a lot of my pieces or my SLGs, I should say, with it to kind of give it an updated or different look with whatever I want to wear that day. So I hope you've enjoyed how I style this bag. Next up, I'm going to show you how I actually lengthen the bag strap itself. So let's do it. So I found a way how to lengthen the bag strap on this Speedy. Now I am quite tall for a girl, but I sort of like wearing it with the original bag strap, but I also like adding this, which is a Louis Vuitton chain, so that I can lengthen it. This is from my pink pochette cousin. This can also be a bracelet, by the way. Um, if you want to see a video on that bag, I'll link that below as well. But see how I've now attached it. I've got the multi pochette accessoire coin um, holder on one side and then I've attached this on the other and it just gives me that extra length and extra comfort when I'm wearing the bag so I hope you found that helpful as well but I feel like you could get something from Amazon or maybe one of your other Louis Vuitton pieces and if you do think of other ideas let me know I don't again mind it's mixing the gold with the silver I'm kind of good with that but if anybody has a better option or a better choice I'm open to it so leave your thoughts in the comments below or hit me up on my Instagram at Donna Hearts Beauty. I'm just measuring there for you how long the strap is. And yeah, there's a close up. I love that it has the LV logo there. And I do think it's quite cute. I attach it that way. And I've had no problems when I've been wearing it so far. So yeah, let me know, as I said, if you have any other ideas. But yeah, that's mine. So here's my thoughts and such after wearing the bag for about a week or more. Now, with the actual strap... Some people were asking me on my Instagram, does it feel like it slides off? Sort of, if you sort of wear it like on your shoulder. I mean, I've not really had any problems with it sliding off, but I think it depends on the material of your top. I mean, that could happen. Um, I'm in Dubai, so it doesn't really rain a lot, but I feel like this is a great waterproof bag. In fact, I had water leak in um, the lid just wasn't on properly and it wet the inside of the bag, like not a problem. I do kind of love how robust it is. But if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or again, as I say, hit me up on my Instagram at Donna Hearts Beauty, where I will answer um, all your questions when I get the chance. And just for reference, here I am wearing it um, like without any extension. It's really comfortable. I ran around and ran some errands the other day wearing it and just love it. So hope that helps so you can kind of see the length and how it sits on the body. 
So that's it for today's video and I really hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Wishing you all the best day. Bye for now.